For this video, I'm going to show you the door that I made. It is made out of dimensional lumber from Lowe's, so it's spruce, and then there are some, these pieces are yellow pine, and they were 2x10, where this was 2x6s. These I purchased uh, from Lowe's because they were super straight, the grain was really nice, and the boards were pretty knot free, which I found that 2x6s in general are normally one of the higher quality uh, sizes of wood to buy at Lowe's. Uh, the panels in the um, frame are made of cherry and I did some carving on them that fades out as it goes up and I'll show you a close-up detail of that in just a moment. Uh, as far as the color goes and the finish, I first I sort of sealed the panels with spar varnish and then went back over them with some paint, sort of fading it out as I went up with some darker paint and then it was sort of a dry brush technique so it added some of the brush strokes onto the panels which has a nice look when you're up close to them. Uh, then after I got the color how I wanted it, I went back over it with several layers of sprayed spar varnish to get a really nice smooth satin finish. So I'm going to bring you in now closer to see some of the details. The inside of the door is the same as the outside except for the fact that the panels are held in by this trim, um, which is not of course on the outside of the door. The trim was cut on a table saw first to about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick and then ripped to its width on a bandsaw which is about a, a little over a quarter inch so maybe 5 sixteenths or so and I uh, did it on the bandsaw to give it that texture painted it black sanded it back lightly which gives it a nice little texture on the edge of that piece of trim the door you see up here is supposed to be sort of like a speakeasy style door instead of a normal little peephole I wanted to add something into this large panel just to sort of break it up a bit. So I went with this, which, um, and this is fabricated out of about a sixteenth of an inch sheet metal. And uh, the square you see here, it's the same on both sides, except for the fact that the outside piece has some pieces welded to it, boxing it in to where when you see the inside of the, the hole through, it looks like it's metal all the way through. Um, to where you don't see the grain of the wood or anything when you look in. And then they're uh, held together through holes being drilled through the wood and the bolts. And the little door here is made of a piece of stained glass and it's sort of like a root beer bottle color with a little copper catch and then little hinges I made out of just some small brass tubing and wire. But um, all in all it turned out pretty good and it's a nice little effect. I'll flick the lights off just to where you can see. Um, see, see if that's, yeah, you can sort of see it. Let me turn this light over. And you can see here, I know it's probably grainy because it's dark, but you get the idea. It's just a nice little glow of uh, that sort of ambery brown color, uh, which I think looks pretty nice. As far as the hinges go, I used some hinges I got from Lowe's and they are three inch hinges with a, I think they call it an antique or aged bronze finish. Basically they're black and rubbed back a little and where they're rubbed back it's sort of got a bronzy tone. Uh, bronzy in the direction of this kind of bronze not so much the raw bronze color. Well that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you liked the project and maybe got some inspiration for one of your own. Um, as far as the materials I used, it's what I had. If I would have had different materials, the door would have looked different. So uh, look around at what you got and what you can find and go from there. Uh, the cherry panels that I got, the cherry panels were made from some cherry lumber that I got for free. Got a small amount of it for free left over from someone else's project. The uh, majority of the pine, except well all the pine except for the two vertical pieces I got for, um, just had left over from previous projects. The whole door I've made it so far, excluding the fact that I haven't put a handle on here yet, a knob. Um, I've made this whole thing for probably less than $20 and that's including um, purchasing the hinges and the 2x6s and I guess you could factor in how much the paint costs but I mean it's a tiny amount. But uh, if you like the video let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates when I make future uploads. I'm going to close the video by showing some of the photographs that I took while I was making the door. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
If you enjoyed this video and would like to follow along with the rest of the build, click the red subscribe button on the screen now and you'll get updates when I post future videos. Thanks for watching.